Okay, so I'm checking my levels. Let's see how this works for us. Um, you should see up in my screen, I've got a sample from someone who's asked me to do a video that talks about basically making a stencil font so you don't have these sections that are um, being completely cut out when you do something like, um, in this case, it's a drink stir and she wants to be able to have it say the words without having things like the center of the P drop out or in this case it looks like the E dropped out entirely um, and here's the centers of the B and the A so the first thing I'm going to do is I pulled up um, Futura which is a great font it's pretty standard and um, and this has some closed in lorem ipsum I'll probably put a uh, pickleball in just since that's what she's doing um, and let's do all caps. Okay, and then I'll also look for, it looks like she's got some sort of a collegiate font. So let's look for a different bold font. Um, and you can go to decorative fonts. In, I'm an illustrator, so in your fonts you can actually um, filter it so that you're not seeing all the fonts that you have in your system. You're just seeing the ones that um, are this particular style. So you can scroll through and here let's look and see what we've got. That's pretty similar right there. So this is, yeah, college. So this is... Um, Anytime you're looking for a college or a sports, like jersey numbers or something, then look for a collegiate font. So this looks really similar to what she's got, except we don't have those little serifs on the L um, that you can see. So, And we can actually even add those in. So let's get started with this. Now, the thing that I do, and I'm holding uh, Control-Alt-Shift, or actually in this case just Alt-Shift, and I'm left-clicking. And that lets me pull down a copy. So I'm going to keep my original piece here so I know what font I'm working with. And I can save this as a file that I can come back to later if I have any issues or if I want to make new letters out of this font. So in this case, we're going to go up to Type. We're going to Create Outlines. And that makes shapes out of all this. So now it's not live type. It's actually just pieces. And now... Uh, what I do is I double click and it takes me into the group. You can also ungroup it, but I like having it be in the group. If you look up here in Illustrator, it'll show you that it's in the group right now. Um, I prefer doing this because then you can pick it up as a piece later. If you double click out, then it's all still one piece. If you go in, double click in, you're in the group. They're all single pieces. So just a little bit of a... a info tip there for you guys. So I'm going to zoom in and really one of the best things for this that I found is that especially with this it's such a block font that um, the easiest way to do this is to pick a thickness and you can either pick I like to do maybe half of what their thickness is um, just kind of keep it like it feels it's um, balanced with the font and you can see I've got my own little square right there, or rectangle rather. I'm going to make it a little wider. Oops, just wide. And we're going to come up here and we're actually, let me make this a different color for you guys. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to place it so that it actually lines up with that P line right there. And the point of this is that you want to make sure, see right now I can see that I'm down below. You can also snap. Um, you can see it's trying to snap right there. So uh, you want to make sure that it's carrying that line so you don't have anything weird happen once you do the uh, crop. So we're going to actually minus front on these and keeping, um, keeping this consistent, I'm going to copy this. That's just alt and drag off. And now on this case, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go over here and minus front. And then now all of a sudden you can see that your pickleball P has this piece that goes in that won't be um, a dropout for the letter. So you can cut all the way around it, but this will be connected inside. So, or in the piece, I should say. So you can see the difference in that 
right here, it dropped out because it wasn't connected to anything. Here, now it connects. So you can say, okay, I'm going to go through um, and we're going to look at the B. Well, we'll do the B exactly the same because they're actually fairly matching letters with the P and the B top. So there we've snapped to it and we can say, okay, we're going to drag this down. Again, this is Alt with Shift and Shift lets me go straight down. You can see that nice green guideline there that's telling me, hey, um, this is in properly aligned to the center of the piece up top. And I think I aimed well here. Yeah, it looks like we're good. And then we're just going to pull another copy of this out and use that for the A. And there, that should be the A. So now, um, since you have these two pieces here, this doesn't always work when you get to a ton of um, little pieces that you're cutting out. Um, I do, you know, trial and error. And uh, in this case, we're going to hold the two. We're going to come back over here, minus front. And then, so you can see that's pretty much exactly the same shape that's stacked on top of each other. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to minus front again. So now this should be something that you can actually cut out of a solid and you'll still have these pieces um, that will line up. Uh, sorry, that won't drop out. <laughs> They're all lined up. Um, so the other thing we looked at was that this has kind of a serif end on each of these pieces. So what we can do is we can make that little piece just like we did the blue piece that I cut out and add that into it if we wanted to. So let's come back here and let's say we're going to do a piece that's a little bit wider and we'll end up eyeballing this right here a little bit like that. That looks pretty good actually. Um, so this is going to be our piece now. I'm going to color it blue again so you guys can see it for making the serifs. So on the bottom line we're really just going to be copying it down along the um, other letters that need it and then we're going to resize a couple letters. So in this case we're going to go across to the center of the eye. Oops. Shoot, sorry. We're going to go across to the K, and that'll be an eyeball, really. We can get technical about it, but usually that's pretty good. Same thing. Okay, and you can see there's going to be this, this uh, height difference, so we'll get to that in a second. On the A... Okay, so there's all the, the bottoms, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a copy of this up over here for now. And, oops, sorry about that. My hand hits tab all the time, tab and ca um, caps lock. It's terrible. Okay, so we're going to come back up here, and we're going to go all the way up here. Oh, I just missed it, didn't I? The A looks a little funky. Let's go back to her sample. And no, it doesn't look like the A has actually got anything on it. So we're going to take that off. Um, and it looks like the tops of the L's do. So we're going to go back. And we'll do the same thing on the top as we did on the bottom. We also have to do the ends of the L's. So we'll do that. And the K, we should just be able to kind of just copy. So this is Alt again, pulling up there. You can show it nicely lines up. Um, and then let's bring an L back over, Alt again. And it just, holding Shift lets you just drag it along that line. It makes it super easy. And we need the I. So let's copy the I back up nice and aligned and it says oh you're aligned up there perfect so what are we looking at now we need to change the um, 
height of some of these. And some of these, it'll be something as easy as just pulling them up to uh, space them out. But uh, it looks like we still need the ends of the L's. So now we're going to take a copy of this guy. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't like to do... Uh, stuff in the center when you've got a small piece. So we're actually going to do shift and that actually snaps it to the, the 45 degrees, I believe it is. And um, so now it's straight and we can see that that's going to work for our L. We're also going to move this E out because you don't want too much space. Um, I'm sorry, too little space between these since remember you're cutting out the letter and you have to have this space here. We'll get to these two in a second um, in order to maintain that control over the pieces. So you want to get make it really structurally sound for um, the pieces to hold to themselves, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to hit Alt again, Shift, we're going to drag over here, we're going to get the E, that looks about right, and then Alt, Shift, all the way, that looks about right, uh, oh, and then L's, okay, so same thing, just go back, Alt, Shift, all the way straight, and you could, once we're done making the L's, you could just reuse an L like it's not it, you know you don't have to do the work twice but I just prefer doing it for whatever I'm working on and it's not it doesn't take that much time so drag it over again and I'm doing this in Illustrator but I'm sure that you can do this in um, any of the other programs uh, because really what we're doing is we're subtracting and then now we're going to join or unite is what a lot of programs call it so here we come over and you can see right there, the Unite is just this big blob. So it says basically you're gonna connect these two and they're gonna become one piece. And you can see they did. So we're gonna do this with these guys and you're just gonna keep going down the line. And you're gonna see that all of these now are matching her font just a little bit better. This isn't necessary. I could have found a font that was a little bit more in line, but it's kind of nice to be able to show you guys, oops, <laughs> wrong one, uh, how to do this in case you wanted to add a flourish or add a shape or something to a, a letter form and you weren't really sure how to do it. So now you can see we've got some big size differences. So one of the things I like to do is instead of doing a scale where you can see like oh you know what I'll do is I'll just make this match on the top so I'll go here I want to match there on the top well it looks okay but what you'll actually find is that it's actually changing the thickness so if I pull this over over here let's say then Oh, well, I guess it didn't do it that much on this font. <laughs> um, let's try changing this to another color. And I'm going to pull it over the P just to double check. Yeah, so we're really getting just a teeny tiny little bit of difference on the thickness. But otherwise, what I would like to do is I use the uh, white arrow, which is just hitting A. The black arrow is hitting V, by the way. Uh, nice keyboard shortcut. I will at some point figure out how to get it to show the shortcuts that I'm using while I work in uh, the OBS program that I'm using to record these. But right now, we're just going to go with that. So on this one then, we double check. You say, okay, the top of the C oops, matches. Let's scale this out. And this is just using Shift, by the way. You just select it and use Shift. And we're just going to make all these match. It's not giving me that. There we go. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's pull that down. And let's just get it just teeny bit. 
And you may think, oh, this is kind of fussy. And it's like, you know, it is. But so far, I don't think I've taken that much time doing this. So um, doing letters like this for um, an event where you're just doing names or you're just doing, you know, something that is an easy, easy fix. You know, I think it's taken me, where can I see how long it's been? Uh, I can't. We'll just see what the total is at the end. Uh, oh, it's 15 minutes so far that I've been explaining this to you as I go. So, um, let's see. This comes down. That's the right height already. Wait, did I scale this guy? I did, didn't I? Yes. Okay, and it just matters that you're kind of going back and forth trying to make sure you did each letter. Um, and then here's where I was saying before that you could actually just delete these and you could actually pull this guy since it's already been finished and uh, resized. And this isn't perfect, you know. I noticed that the B's and the C, you know, the letter, the serif should be on the line, um, breaking the line, rather, versus being involved in it. So um, it's a matter of just how much time do you want to spend on it? How much does it matter? In this case, it's for uh, drink stores. So will they notice that these are a little off? Maybe, depending on the word. So just think about that as you're doing these. Now, once we're good, I'm going to say, you know what? This needs a little space between the letters. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to uh, align them. But I don't want to align center. I actually want to distribute them because that means that in this space that I have, I want these four letters, but I want them to be distributed on their centers. So everybody's got a nice space in between them. And same thing here. We'll just make sure that they're distributed. And this is a lot more, oops, that didn't work. This is a lot more information than what uh, she asked for. So that's why this video is a bit long. But um, I hope, I'm hoping you guys will get some more out of it. So, okay, so when you look at it like that, then all of these should still, or should now be, um, something that you can do that uh, you are able to cut out and the centers of the letters will stay even though you've cut out the letter itself. And this is what I was telling you just as a finishing. Um, right now these are all separate and now I'm still in the group as I told you earlier. I double click out and you haven't lost your group. So overall, you know, if you've got other items and stuff in with the text, then you don't have to worry about any of that being lost um, just because you're having to edit all of these and move them around. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to start doing more videos, so keep an eye on the channel and uh, let me know what else you would like me to go over and um, put some in the comments or just message me on Facebook. I'm easily available and uh, I will do them as quickly as I can, I promise.